Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I took this outdated Ikea dresser that was $5 and turned it into a dresser from my daughter's room. The dresser drawers were a little bit wonky, so we replaced the bottoms with some wood from the hardware store. I was able to use the original drawer bottoms as templates for the new ones. I used some 220 sandpaper on my DeWalt orbital sander to smooth out the edges. I wanted to reinforce the new drawer bottoms with some quarter round cut into small pieces. Then I just glued the bottom of the quarter round to the bottom of the drawer and also to the side and I used my 23 gauge pin nailer from Milwaukee just for a little bit extra of stability. This dresser had some sort of a faux front piece on the bottom that I removed. I didn't like the look of it so I got some I think this is just strip wood and I cut it down um, and replaced it to give it a more modern look. I used some glue and again my pin nailer to attach it and then just put some clamps on it until it was totally dry. Everything up until this point had been fairly easy until I decided to take off the drawer slides. Um, there was a couple missing and so I had to replace them and I had to take the drawer slides off anyway to replace the bottoms of the drawers. But attempting to put them all back on and get all the drawer slides to work was another issue. I'm sure there is a better, more proper way to do this, but I ended up just putting all the drawers in and pulling them back out until the left side and the right side drawers lined up with one another. Okay, here we are prepping. Let's talk about what the plan is for this piece. I uh, sanded down the top with my DeWalt Orbital Sander. That is 220, um, and I was just trying to get a smooth finish and take away a lot of the orange. I don't know if there was a stain on here previously, but I do know that it did not take me much work to sand through that orange color. I also gave the front of the drawers a scuff sand to prepare them for paint. What I want to do here is do like a white color all around the piece and of course a paint wash on top to make it look like a faux wood grain. Okay, here we are, almost ready to rock and roll. What I'm doing is taping off the top. I used a trash can, trash can bag that I cut and I taped it to the top to protect all that sanding I just did. I used the Bin 123 spray primer to cover up any knots and seal in any tannins. 
Can you believe I forgot to video me using the spray gun with the actual paint? I did two uh, coats of the paint after the primer had dried and the coverage was really, really good. I used a Bare Ultra, the Scuff Defense brand, and I know that it says it already has a primer in it, but I primed anyway because I wasn't really sure what this wood was gonna do. Now it's time for the top. I took general finishes in the color linen and mixed it with some water to make a paint wash. I bought this glaze on recommendation from Shannon over at Black Sheep House. She calls this finish her pottery barn finish. I put this on with a foam brush, which worked really well. So what you do is you put it on with a foam brush, get everything covered, and then you go back with this bigger brush and you kind of smooth out the glaze so that it doesn't, it, it looks uniform. What I didn't know about doing this finish was that you had a very quick working time, I guess you could say it, like the glaze starts to dry and um, so you need to kind of get on with it. And I was just messing around and not doing that until I figured out why it was um it almost like not bubbled up but got um, little bits in it like as the glaze started to dry then you went in with a broom whisk or a broom handle and she says to go back over the top and you cannot go back over the top too many times. But I think I may have had a um, stray piece of straw in mind because I kept getting this really long scratch in it. And here she is all done. I think she turned out gorgeous. I ordered these knobs from Amazon. They were like a dusty bronze gold color and they really jazzed up the piece a lot and made it look a lot more modern. I'm super excited with the way that the paint color came out along with the knobs and the pottery barn finish top. It's going to look beautiful in my daughter's bedroom. Thank you.